yes. Another beautiful sunrise from the Vons parking lot in Clovis. Figure we got to go find this sunrise before it happens and we miss it. It's about all I got to do today. I'm here in Clovis once again, or still rather, and behind me are the Sierra Nevada mountains. Lit up beautifully this morning. You can barely see them back there, but over on this side to the south, we have Kings Canyon National Park. We have Sequoia National Park. Behind me around this area, we have Huntington Lake, Shaver Lake, Edison, Florence Lake, and somewhere way back over there, over the mountain, down the river and through the woods, we have Yosemite National Park. So Clovis is not the worst place to be located if you're into such things as going outdoors in the mountains and enjoying wilderness. And I have to say, I've been to a lot of places in my life and especially recently i've been chasing sunsets and sunrises and honestly some of the best ones i've seen are right here in clovis in the central valley um last night was no exception if you saw yesterday's video and you didn't make it to the end well go back and check it out because <laughs> what a cool sunset that was all right, I'm gonna see if the facilities are open while I'm here. I think that a park person actually comes around and opens them at a specific time. Not, oh, hey, access. All right, see you in a few minutes. Much better now. So I was actually just thinking about it and I guess technically I'm not supposed to be at the park right now. The park hours are seven, to 10. Sorry, I was distracted by two flying geese over here. There's two guys honking away, flying wherever they're flying to. Man, what a beautiful morning. Little bit light dusting of snow on the mountains out there. And the sun rising. There's like a a bit of fog rising up from these reservoirs over beyond here. <laughs> Man. It's a little bit chilly this morning, I have to say. Walking over here because I believe this is the sign that I'm looking for. Park hours, seven to 10. No alcohol, no smoking. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, California, how you love to tell us what to do. <laughs> I like this one. Considerate citizens pick up after their pets. Since the lockdown in California here has been lifted, a lot of the campgrounds, which I had been trying to stay in previously and were closed, have been reopened. So. I might explore a bit of the local camping around here, maybe around Millerton Lake. There's a ton of campgrounds there. All get great reviews. Um, maybe Lost Lake Recreation Area along the San Joaquin River. I don't know, we'll see what happens over the course of the next couple days. I'm really thinking no, you know what? Scratch really thinking about it. I am going to order the National Park Pass. The annual pass is only $80, if you can believe that. And that gets you into not only national parks, but a lot of like Bureau of Land Management parks and other places. And you gotta order it online and then they mail it out. It says it would take, you know, three to seven days.
Yum yum, huh? You can eat All right. Cheers, so I can <sighs> Valentine's Day lunch dinner was quite a success. Very good. I am all filled up. One meal today. <laughs> and, you know, I've been sitting here this afternoon reflecting on the last couple days where I've been, what I've done. And, of course, I'm still bummed out that I lost my drone. And the more I think about it, like, when I lost it, it was the weirdest thing. It's never happened to me before in using a drone. I'm controlling it, and sometimes it'll lose signal, but you'll still have the video image, or sometimes the video image will cut out, but you'll still definitely be connected to it. All the indicators will show you that you're connected to it, that the signal's there, and then it'll come back, or it'll just automatically return to where you took off from. And this time when I was at Red Rock Canyon and I was flying it, it all of a sudden in the middle of my flight, I was only a couple hundred feet away from it, maybe four or 500 feet away, which is nothing in drone terms. And maybe 150, 200 feet up, all of a sudden it just went black on my controller. The screen went black and it said some kind of message I'd never seen before that said basically that you're completely disconnected from the drone and I was like that's weird and it said it will automatically return to home so I hit okay and for a while the screen was black and then the next thing I knew the screen came back on with an image and it looked like it was a close-up of like rocks and from what I could tell, I had reconnected to the drone and it wouldn't take off. It was in like the error landing mode. When it lands, crash lands, it goes into an error mode, starts beeping. So you can activate the find my drone feature and go locate it, which I've done a couple of times before. And I've always been able to recover it. And so anyways, it got me thinking about it. And I was looking at the map of the area where Red Rock Canyon is, and there's like Red Rock Canyons say here, and right here, and right here, and right here, there's three separate military, like missile and aircraft weapon testing grounds. When I was in Las Vegas, my buddy Evan was telling me, now he works for a production company and is apparently located right to I can't remember the name of the Air Force uh, base right there, but it's just like off, off of North Vegas, and there's an Air Force base right next to where it is. He says he watches planes take off. And they were trying to fly a drone for a project, and the drone got taken over and slammed into a wall. And they were 99% certain that the military base captured the drone taking off or that it was in flight, were alerted, took it over and crashed it. So it got me thinking about my drone crash. My, it never happened before what happened. How it disconnected is very strange. And I wasn't far away at all. If the drone was a little bit bigger and had a light on it, I would have been able to see it. So I am of a suspicion and my conspiratorial nature really likes to lean toward the fact that I'm thinking the U.S. military took over my drone and either crashed it or landed it on top of a ridge so I couldn't get access to it and fly it again. I don't know that that's really what happened, but it's kind of fun to think that's what happened. Having lost it and not being able to recover it at least that would make for a good story so i'm going with that u.s government hijacked my drone they took it and they crashed it into the red rock Canyon national park it's actually state park whatever sorry doing a little alex jones rant there for a second regardless i know the drone footage is cool <laughs> 
People always ask me, you know, when you're driving with the drone, is that act like tracking you? Well, no. Mavic Mini didn't have tracking. Didn't have a lot of sensors or extra features, which is part of the reason why I've crashed it so many times. So going forward, if when I get a new drone, I'm gonna move up a notch or two on the scale, get something a little bit more quality and slightly more professional.